Hello and welcome everybody to this week's episode of the very V-A-R-Y Necessary Podcast. This is Sue checking in. What's up everybody? This is Vaughn. This is Yoshi. And this is Jennifer. Yay! Yay. So, hey everybody. Hey. 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 What's going on? How's everybody's week? It's going, you it's know. It's been a week. Jennifer's hair is looking like her week. <laughs> I've worked all week long. I've been in a, I'm in Belinda, a 13. Belinda, we need a hair emergency appointment. I'm her Saturday. I can't yeah. even talk because mine is gone. It comes through. really quick. Yeah. It, like yesterday. Shut up. But you're still cute, Jenny. Thank you, I better get y'all some wigs or some natural slight wigs. I got my hair up in my little afro puff. I don't do wigs. I don't do wigs at all. Oh, okay. Nothing wrong with a little protective style. Yeah, bougie Brenda don't do that. Do that. Anyway, what what you got to say, bougie Brenda? Well, I do have something for our listeners to say. Yeah. So, you guys, you can catch us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere you listen to your favorite podcasts for free. And what we need you to do is subscribe, share, and hit those five star reviews. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We want to know. Going to tell us uh, to go to the coach store and buy something. Not today, <laughs> but I'll try to get there this weekend. So you You'll know, pick me up something. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know. Why not? She ain't gonna, she ain't gonna buy nobody nothing. Uh-uh. She gonna buy nobody. Oh, she'll call and say, "Girl, let me deal with this off. Buy your ass a damn keychain. <laughs> say, "Come or, or some I, I draws. We were friends. Or some draws. No, I take that back, y'all. Take it back. Jennifer did call me one time when I was looking for some Adidas tennis shoes that had butterflies on them, and she um looked at. I mean, she was at the outlet looking at them for me, so. And I was gonna buy. Them I'm always gonna them. take and that I for do y'all. Treat. Like if we all go out to eat, I treat. I mean, we all do that. Um. And if I buy, I bought y'all candles. Yes, you did from the um, big sale. I didn't sale. get a candle. And I bought, oh, and I bought, oh. and then where was pe- my candle? I did. She she oh. must have kept mine, ladies and gentlemen. No, I didn't get no candle. I she didn't get said you, was, you was incognito. Yeah. Okay, okay, so if you bought it she, for me, yeah. you she seen she me twelve times one. since then. I ain't uh-huh. seen Where's y'all, my what? candle? Well, that is true. So I bought know. everybody a candle. Now, if I she couldn't did see it, I did. She I went did, to the y'all. candle sale. Mm. And then I'm going to tell you, <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> what else I do? How uh, you going to buy me something? I buy you bottles of wine. I didn't see you, so I'm going to keep you some wine. Did, you did. You did, Carolina so, so Red. Of, what kind of? Fragging that bullshit. Bull fuckery. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, but I am looking at her sideways. Whatever. So let's my get to is, um, uh, what, coming up. I got to tell you about my yes. week. Yes, please. Yeah, you we're going to go around. We're on the days of our lives. You already oh, know this. Oh, I, I don't, I don't want to hear it. Are you serious? Here we go. I mean, but yo, should we do check in? So <sighs> check in, Jen. As the world turns, what, what happens? It's days. two minutes. It's days of our lives. You got two minutes. So, right. or have, less. We are, um, we've been talking, and we've been talking, and it's been <laughs> going very well. Um, for those who don't know, I'm starting to do the dating process again. So, you know, I'm out here in these streets, but I got one that I like a lot. And so um, every, every um, show we have is going to be an episode, right? So I have to give a... No, it's not. Then we got to do. I'm, didn't you say you live through me, damn? Sixty it? seconds. This ain't relationship status, boy. Seconds. Well, I'll go on relationship status. You can. What's up, Yusef? Anyways, so we have we discussed about um, sexual relations, and we're gonna put that on a pause so that we can work through our things emotionally. Okay. okay. And lie. so, what That's else has happened this week lie. with you, Jennifer? Um. I don't know. Cause see, nothing else happened but that. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, that my boy, my baby, that. my daughter had her first breakup with a boy. She she Do might not have wanted the whole damn world oh, to know my that. J- wanted that she to be known. Sixteen years I'm old. So Trust sorry. me. Oh so my god. She will be Gentry, okay. Auntie Sue is sorry for your mother telling your business. She don't care. All Tell across everything. the nation. Okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! Anyway, let's get to the show because she's so inappropriate. But nobody else this checked in. Oh well, go ahead. So Yoshi, how was no? How was your week? I, I mean, you know me. I'm always Yosh, living life, sucker free, always fly. That's always. gonna be me every week. <laughs> Give me a break, I show deserve. Um, Nail Carter. 
That's you can go sit down somewhere. You know, at least, at least I have a life beyond as the world turns. Give me yeah. a break. Yeah, I think I'm a little more interesting than as the world turns, as the sense of the hourglass. Whatever. Anyway, Susie. Yes. How was your week? It's pretty good. It's going pretty good. Her baby's going to be 18. Yes. yes. So yes. I will tomorrow? have a grown man. Um, but he's always looked like a grown man he since about grown. age I was gonna say he's been grown since he, uh, uh, 12, 12. Hey, yeah. This <laughs> yeah, nigga with got the a full car Rick car Roll. So y'all grown women out there. Mm-hmm. Stay off, yeah. uh, keep your hands he's off of my baby. Man. He's still a minor. And uh-huh. guess what? Keep your hands off of my baby. I don't there play about that one. And now you see grown. that other side, okay? And, and he's handsome. Me but. and Kari got how many more years to Magic City? Uh oh. Three more down. years. Oh, he's he said, I'm down? Auntie, take yes. him to Magic Yoshi City. Yoshi told him when he was 14 that she was going to take him to Magic City when he was 21. Oh, when I he go. turned 21. No, man. I want to go. Can I go to Auntie? He had them all. He's going to have Two good chaperones with, with him. One of them ain't good because as soon as soon as they put on scrub the ground, uh, <laughs> back up from I'm, the nine nine. I'm doom, about to doom doom. I'm gonna take off do, with the dance. Do do. I'm gonna show him. Hey, I'm gonna show him. Hey, put the ass hey, in hey, the hey, beer. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Hey, back in the uh, nine uh, nine uh, in the uh, two uh, thousand. Yeah, baby. Hey. So yeah. Um. So you happy birthday, happy eighteenth birthday to my love. Uh, my world, Makari, I love you. Oh my you goodness! Hit him? Um, he's asked for a laptop, and he wanted to do a personal something because you know he's still into WWE. Um, he didn't ask for much. He said you can't go anywhere, no need to buy new clothes and shoes, and you can't rock them, and nobody can see them. That's true. But you know, right now, also, um, we're we're calling it Kari Watch, so we're trying to see what school he's going to select. Um, I cannot wait to find out. Yeah. So I'm so anxious. We thought one school was I going to be know. it. You think you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We thought one school was going to be it, but. Okay. We're going we gonna to wait. We're going to. Yeah. We'll we're see. not going to throw it out there. Um, he said he might give his top four for his birthday. And then, but you know, he's still, I mean, now time is ticking. So, you he know. He has us on suspense. I'm going to tell you that right yeah. now. I already know. All right. So, but other than Intuition, that. Intuition or he told oh, whatever. you. Whatever. You know, my clairvoyance oh, tells me. Okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, well, Vaughn. All right, Vaughn Shella. Um, my week actually Put been very off. good. So, normally I do my self-care on Sunday. Uh-huh. And um, I actually went in the middle of the week. And I mm. had this massage. Let me tell you, Who I got to my you? life together. Who give it to I you, I felt like I had a bath on the table <laughs> <laughs> well wait a minute wait a minute was it was it was it your secretions or was it the shower therapist no, put the water on let me you? tell you what happened okay she did the sugar scrub oh, on you, my back you let the lady do it it was a lady i don't discriminate male or okay. female i'm i'm comfortable with either and who, who was it? Do you um, want to shout ex- her out? Exhale. You went to me. my oh, you went to me. Oh, Shout out to Tamika. To Tamika. Ah, at yes. Exhale. You know, woman yes. You know, yes. I am table. scheduling my appointment. I want her to do like a facial okay. or she something did a facial. like that. I did a facial. She's and great. I did a, a full body. Awesome. And let me tell you, I got my life right. That's I, I thought the bestie. I thought oh, I was she is not Jesus because you know she, she washed esti. my feet. Esti. She washed esti. your feet. Esti. Well, not Jennifer. really washed with soap and water, I'm just but okay, the hot I, towel wrap. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But that scrub, <laughs> so and she I said, like I do that. a full body. Oh Lord. I'm about to be cleansed you by the not, drama. Now, how about, drama I'm about, about to be cleansed no. by well, we the, got the, wait, we got the sugar scrubs. We, we're not feel. talking Who about you. Who is drama you. feel? So, yes. we're not. No, man. Don't we don't want to hear. Right okay, so, and so how much going. that run you, Vaughn? How much did that little package run you? The um, wet and wild. It was uh, 120 120 The bill and pay I think that was. No. I think that was worth it. I can take care of my own self-care. Billing. The billing pay for I can buy my own. Mm-mm. No. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to Tamika at Exhale with the Studio. A hater today. Please go check her move. out. Yes. Look her up. That's um Exhale with Me Studio dot com. Yay. I haven't um I'm in a mood because I haven't I haven't purchased anything in about 
two days. Two, two here we go. And it, oh, oh, no, ma'am. She it is not lie. two weeks, Jennifer. Uh, no, ma'am. What I bought? No, ma'am. Last I didn't buy them shoes. Last week, here, no, no. Here we but are. you bought here a romper. Here we are back to these you bought two That was two weeks ago. It just came, it that just came two last week. That was just last Monday. So we're going to do As the World okay. Turns, and we're going to do My Shopping oh, Addiction with I Jennifer. I forgot to tell y'all. I go every to week. Um, the, the burn boot camp. Oh, I like the burn. Mm. Yeah. I signed up. Well, I got the seven days, right? And so I signed up. Hey, hey. I'm gonna be right for the beach. You know what I like about that place? The when she atmosphere. On the beach by herself. Yeah. Oh, guess and guess, <laughs> and guess who in my class? Who? Amy Sunshine. What's oh, her married name? Okay, I don't know her married name, but it was really. Is good that to what see happened her. to your hair today? Did it burn up at? Because <laughs> it looked like. <laughs> <right. laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> you! <laughs> it ran up. <laughs> you know that tornado that just touched down to Alabama. <laughs> and fuck you too. Look, it's a tornado <laughs> in Fairfield County. Why are you playing? <laughs> Oh, yes, I, I did the work. Okay. Um, mm, call you Dorothy. Excuse me. Um, anywho, <laughs> so our topic for today is groomed to be living single versus married life. Who wants to expand on that topic and discuss how we're going to break that down today? Vaughn? Yeah, sure. So, you know, I was just thinking about growing up and how we were groomed or were we groomed as um, young adults, young children to be a wife or to live our life as a single individual because of how we were raised. And so um, I saw this topic and it says single women. No, it says are single women groomed by their single parent to be single mm. I would and have I, to. I thought that was interesting mm. I, I it's not a truth to it I know it's, I didn't it's say it was interesting. I'm just saying that it, it can but that I would think it would sway more that way to be single if you're if that's what you see versus to be married because how can you really identify with that if you've never seen it that's almost like how can you um give me an example y'all i mean if you never if saw you, your 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 mom or your dad in a relationship like say you didn't grow up in the household with your dad right you don't know how it is to grow up with a male figure in the household right you know what i'm saying so you kind of don't know like how he should what his place should be with the children or, you know, what his place should be with you. Because you've basically had to be masculine. Right. You saw your mom out there. Let me, right. Your mama taking out the trash. My mom fixing on cars. My mom patching up holes in the wall. And to me. Oh, oh yeah. My mother Damn, is a jack Linda. of all trades. Linda. Let me Linda. tell you. Hey, Miss Linda. Hey, hey Miss Linda. Linda. Hats off to you. <laughs> yes. My mom can do everything except build a house and Make a car. She probably could do that too. You just don't yeah, know. Yeah, and I don't know. But mm -hmm. I saw my mom do a lot of things as being a single parent. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, I'm caught in the middle because my mom was a single parent. Then she was married and then she was widowed. So I kind of got like, a, a, I'm well-rounded. Mm -hmm. But eventually I spent most of my years as a with her as a single parent. With a you know as a single parent. Well, with you being able to see both ends of the spectrum, mm -hmm. how did that make you feel? Knowing that at some point she did have a spouse who was helpful, mm -hmm. and then at the other spectrum where she was basically doing it on her own and all the tasks that she had to do on her own that normally were done by your dad. So it's crazy because even though my mom had a lot of independence. I was so dependent on her, right? Mm -hmm. I should have picked up that trait of being independent at an earlier age than waiting later on until I had a child to learn independence. Mm -hmm. um, seeing her being independent and then getting married and still having somewhat of her independence in that marriage, I was kind of like in the shadow. Like I didn't pay attention to a lot of things that she did. She didn't teach me you know, this is how you be independent or this is how you live for your husband soon, you know, one day. I kind of took it day by day. Well, you um, were the baby. 
So, I am the baby. It's yes, eight year difference yeah. between me and my sister. So, how many years between you and your sister? Eight. Eight. Yeah. yeah. Well, so yeah, she may have been grooming your sister, but not necessarily mm-hmm. you. Yes, I think so because my sister took a lot after my mom. Mm-hmm. She was the homemaker type person that mm-hmm. was cooking dinner, you know, when my mom got home or. Mm-hmm. She made sure that I had my clothes ready for school. Mm -hmm. She made sure that the house was cleaned. If my mom didn't clean it, my sister did it. My chores were non-existent. I didn't have to do anything. So leading to where I am today in life is weird because I don't depend on my mom to do anything, but I'm so relaxed. Um, I don't ask anybody to do anything for me, but I don't want anybody to do anything for me because I've been doing it for myself for so long. So that's crazy because now it looks like the roles have changed with you and your sister. Because I know that's like crazy. Like you got to know Vaughn to know like the dynamics of everything. But now she's the big sister and her sister's the little sister. Yes. That is so funny. It's uh, it's very different because if you are not used to caring for Mm -hmm. an older sibling, Mm-hmm. It is a lot of work when that person is stubborn and used to doing things on their own. Mm-hmm. And that was a new role for me. And you can't take away their independence. Yeah. Like that's that is hard. That mm-hmm. is hard when you try to take independence away from someone who was Always. who who is basically yeah. raised you in a sense. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. So and and we're all gonna get there. We we're gonna get there at the end of this conversation when we talk about the Golden Girls house. <laughs> But um yeah, so 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 basically between Yoshi, Vaughn, Sue, and Jen, um Susie was the only one who basically grew up consistently in a two parent household and her parents are still married to this day. Yes. Goals. Tell us how it was growing up with the Huxtables. We uh, first of all, <laughs> we are the Dollarsons and not the Huxtables. Oh, we are not perfect. We but are y'all not look per- so perfect. No, we're not. And y'all look a very well groomed family. Yes, very well groomed. However, however, um, we are not perfect, and my parents will tell everybody, and my siblings will tell everybody, and especially me, not perfect at all. Um, I did not realize the significance of being in a two parent home until I was older because I felt like I saw all my friends and like my friends could do, it seemed like my friends could do whatever they wanted to do. Um, They could go whatever they wanted to go. And sometimes my dad will pump brakes and be like, "Ah, no, you're not doing that. Um, Being in a two parent home, you just you know you had to go to mom you had to go to dad we would go to my mom and my mom is very she's she's sweetheart but my mom is a very um stern person and you'll ask you can ask my mom but then my mom will go and ask my dad for a certain type of things you know like well this is what sue is wanting or this is what eric or jonathan wants um and but she was not the person that would give me my punishment when I was in trouble. My dad was, and my dad is such a gentle soul. He is, but when he's upset, I've never seen him oh, out of pocket. I don't believe mm-hmm. you. <laughs> Honey, Jeez. when my, when my dad is upset and I think it's more, he was disappointed Pointed, right? in the actions. And I was the child. I am the middle child. So I was the child that was always in trouble. Thank my God brothers, <laughs> My brothers was not she was not that a child. Long way. I was a child to get in trouble. So I think with my dad, he was the stern one. He was the one that gave the punishment. Um, I was fearful of my father, though, because I didn't want to disappoint them. Um, but I think when you wanted to talk to somebody, it would be Ernestine, my mom at the time. But my dad, as I got older, he was he is the guy to go to. To nah. kind of talk to, uh, okay. you know, about anything. And he is more understanding. So I just did not appreciate it then while growing up like I do now. 
mm-hmm. in um in the roles that they played. See, now, me and my sister, we were different. My sister would go to my mom because she didn't like my stepdad. Mm-hmm. And I ran to my stepdad because I got everything I wanted from him. Right, because he loved you. What? I mean, you kids, are kids are manipulative. You right. didn't tell so, him I wasn't his, ch- his child. But now, honestly, I am a daddy's girl. Because, seriously, if I asked for something, he would um, do it. And, you know, if I asked for something, I would get it. But, you know, like I said, at the time, it's certain things that I see now that I'm older that I didn't see when I was younger. And, you know, uh, they have provided us um, with things. They have been very great role models to other um, people that are married that are either in our families or either, you know, surrounded. And, you know, if you come to them, they're going to give that advice to you. And they're going to tell you, you know, that's your marriage. Keep other people out of your marriage. Um, And you all have to grow together. You have to grow together. Um, Unfortunately, my marriage didn't make it. Um, But both of my brothers are now uh, married. And, you know, uh, my oldest brother, I think they're going on six years now. Okay. So shout out to Eric and Tish, Ooh. my sister in love. And then my baby brother, Jonathan, recently got married um, back in 2020. And so shout out to him. Do you think you'll Brooke. get married again? Um, I'm not going to say no. Mm-hmm. So You're not opposed? No, I'm not opposed no. to it. I'm not okay. opposed and to Vaughn, it. And you've never been married. I've never but... been married. Yeah, <laughs> no, never been married. And, but but um, you're not opposed to it either. I'm not opposed to it. If mm-hmm. it happens, it happens. Um, mm-hmm. but I'm not looking for it. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm not opposed to it, Chompsy Jenna. Well, hold on. <laughs> Before Chompsy talks, because you know that can go all the way left. Mm-hmm. I want to say something about Whyticia's parents, Sue's parents. They have been such an inspiration to me. They've been my auntie and uncle since I've been 12 years old. And she says that it was so challenging sometimes when she was a youth. Mm -hmm. But I really envied the fact that she had her mommy and daddy there. Like, I just felt like, man, I wish I had my mom and daddy in the same house. So, see, sometimes you take for granted having Mm -hmm. a blessing Mm -hmm. like and right. you have friends around you who wish they had your situation. Yes. So I just wanted to say that. So whereas she thought maybe like, oh, Lord, mama and my daddy. I got to ask mama and my daddy. Shit, I wish I had and a mama and a daddy go, to ask. Yeah. And I couldn't go certain places and things of that nature. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and we had to go to church on Sunday, right. you know, and all of that kind of stuff. It was just certain rules. But I sure I so appreciate it now. Now, yeah. I so appreciate it now. Mm-hmm. I do. I love your parents. Thank yep. you. Every time I see they them, love they love y'all. They act like I'm another child of theirs. And you all are. We are. We're we're all their children. They adopt everybody. Yeah, you know she's what? mama. We're, yes, not, they we're do. not talking. Mama and daddy see Vaughn probably do, do more not than see feed, you. Do not do. feed <laughs> into that negative <laughs> energy. They don't like you. But you? honestly, but yes, that's true. My mom was escorted down right when um Jennifer got married back in, mom. in the 90s. When Jin Jin got married, which, which wedding? I'm Just not going there. The fourth one. <laughs> I ain't there no four times. Which, no, which one? Run away which one? one? The fourth one. Yeah, when we was Cinderella, <laughs> honey, we was Cinderella and them. That wedding, Cinderella. honey. Talk about your that family dynamic, so we can see if you was groomed to be living yes. single or groomed yes. to be married. With um, children. I'm the youngest out of five. Um, I'm the baby, baby. So my brother next to me, I'm. He's about maybe 12 years older than I am. And then I have a brother that's 62. So it's a big gap. Oh, Lord. Um, my mother. I think she was adopted, y'all. Lies you tell. No, <laughs> she wasn't adopted. Okay. I got pictures of my mama having me in her belly. Mm. No. But um, anyway. Well, it was the belly see-through. I'm just <laughs> trying. To, I'm over here shaking How my head like. Oh, I don't go on, what to Jenny. Say, Susie. Um, go my mom was a single mom. Um, but I did see. My grandparents had a lot of influence um, on me in my life because my mother was one of those. Um, she worked and she was a single parent. So my mother worked all the time and my grandparents kept me. So my grandparents showed me. And of course, that generation, you have to think your grandmother. She's submissive. 
and he's the man. Mm-hmm. So I saw a lot of that um, where she catered to my grandfather. Now, my grandma was a mess. You know, she did what she did. Um, but in all, she kept our house together. I saw where they did uh, bills together. They budget together. They finance together. I've, I think I may have seen one or two arguments, and it was, like, very short. Um, when I got disciplined, that would be by my grandmother because I was my grandfather's, I was the apple to his eye. Like out of all his grandkids, I was the only mm-hmm. one that he bought cars for, paid for college, oh, all of that. Oh, mm-hmm. I am spoiled. It's okay. no, I was, I am. Oh, you are. Okay? Cause when they okay. passed away, I inherited everything. Mm. Um, how did my kids take it? Bougie. What, what Bougie. you going to do? I, I was there. <laughs> okay. So Bougie. that makes a difference. My mother, um, <laughs> Now, my mother, I love my mother to death, but I would have to say that my mother was burnt a few times with relationships. So I got the bitter part of my mom because by the time she had me, you know, and the way that my dad did, she was burnt, like bitter. And so the way that she would tell me to do things would be the way that she would handle them Mm -hmm. as a single woman. So did you feel that that was wrong? the advice that you were given knowing that you had your grandparents and you saw how they were raised or how they raised you up and then your mom come along and you saw the bitterness in her like maybe it was contradictory to what you saw resentful is the word that i can come up and i'm and it's not even resentful to my mom uh it's resentful to my dad because had he done what he was supposed to do i probably wouldn't have a lot of the issues but that's how, I mean, that was the card that I was dealt. So growing up, you know, I did things, it was kind of like confusing because I'm doing it the way my mom told me, but I want to live the life that my grandpa, my grandparents had. Does that mm-hmm. make sense? Right. That makes perfect mm-hmm. sense. Yeah. So, yeah. So with that, I've had a lot of failed relationships because I'm confused. I'm conflicted on, well, do I live the dream and be submissive or do I say, Fuck you, nigga. I'm not. I don't have to talk to you. Oh. I mean, so, I mean, so you you struggle with that, uh-oh. right? So you think your mom kind of groomed you? Not saying groomed you, but just watching her, you saw more not being groomed for a married life. Right. My mother was the one. Um, you're always going to take care of yourself. Never depend. I'm independent. When I say it, I am independent. Like. Y'all know the story. Yeah. I am in, I take care of my mom. I take care of everybody in my family. I'm the bridge that holds the family together. Like, when you need something, like, I gotta keep my shit together to bail y'all motherfuckers out. Does that make sense? Well, I want my candle. I want my wine. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> back to that. <laughs> Whatever. But Since yeah, you're I'm taking just, care of everybody, I no, want I'm my... I'm just saying with my no. family, when things go down, I mean, they, they look to me. When somebody need a loan, they, they contact me. And but was that not your grandmother? Huh? But was that not your grandmother? Yeah, my grandmother was the bridge that held it over. So when I look at the qualities of my grandmother, I see a lot. When I say a lot, I see a lot of me. I'm everything that my grandmother was. Mm-hmm. And I am the and indi- she's her twin too. Oh, yeah. 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 But the independent part comes from my mother because okay. my mom held it down. And and I don't blame her. So my you mom actually had got the best of both worlds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I would have lo- loved to have a a man in our home too. You did. You saw the the husband and wife dynamic yeah. through your grandparents. Yet you also got to see the independent side of hey, if it ever goes left, this is what you got to do. So right. you did get the best of both worlds. And, yeah. and so let me say this: when Jennifer was talking about Miss Leola and Mister Joe and how they did everything together. It's just interesting that my parents did the same thing. And so my mom and da- my mom always tells this story on how when they first got married, how they would always have a budget and then they would budget out the money and they would only have twenty dollars each for that month to spend on whatever they this want. Was back in the early 1970s, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, because, you know, if no, this was in these I, days and time, $20 no. would have been gone at the Mike Donald's. At the Mike Donald's. I mean, not 20. We wouldn't have, like, when right. Terrell and I were married, uh, and I think I tell you that, uh, the submissive side, because I think the question was 10 minutes ago, would I ever be married again? I, I would, because I'm one of the submissive ones. I'm the old old traditional because my grandparents raised me and groomed me 
So I'm the old traditional submissive. I believe feeding my husband first before my kids get fed. Oh, um, when my mm-hmm. husband, when I lived in Ohio with Terrell and you we were married. Cock out. <laughs> you can talk out all you want to. But I'm saying, no, Jennifer, keep going. You're right. You're right. That's, you right. When, you're when right. that's probably got, why I'm still single. That's probably you're right. Me. Well, I'm single. It doesn't matter which way you do it. But like when he came home, it would snow. He would come home, take his clothes off at the door. His food was on the table. Mm. Now we've already mm. ate. She in the bed. Let's get up here and get this thing popping because I got to go to work in the morning. But that's how I was raised. My grandmother that's told me, wonderful. you don't ever deny him. You don't right. ever deny him. I, I, have I don't heard care. Grandparents as well. weren't like that. Uh, My yeah, grandmother's I, I grandparents that as well. She says, don't you ever deny him when he asks you give. And I gave unconditionally because oh, that was my husband. But now I think mm-hmm. nowadays there are no gender roles. Right. So, and I can think of no gender roles back again, when I was growing up with my parents, my dad was the first one home. So my dad was the one that cooked. And by the time my mom got home, my dad waited for my mom and they, you know, they ate together. Sometimes me and Jonathan, Eric was gone um, by this time in the military. But by that time, me and Jonathan have eaten. But my dad would sometimes um, wait for my mom so they could eat together or we would all wait to eat together. And I think that's what's wrong with the younger, the young, well, I would say our generation too. um, I, I just believe in that foundation of being submissive to your mate just like a lot of my i think y'all don't even agree with me like we shared our money we put our money together and it would be instances where and and that's because we had a goal it's not about the sharing the money part it's about asking well no permission okay so you you gotta think about it vaughn if we have an account together Mm -hmm. and we share this account together and we're and we're and we have a goal and I just go out here and blow because now I'm single. I can do what the fuck I want to do with my money because it's my money. But if I had a husband and we have an account together and I go out here and spend $500 on a bag, because you know I will do it. I go spend the $500 and, and I didn't say, hey, hey, babe. Um, no, yes, that would cause some problems. Okay. That will cause or problems. Or is this in the budget? Because as a, as a, as a married couple, and, and, and Yoshi and Waticia can attest, as a couple, you have a budget for your home. If we I, put I this amount, but see, that's a for the home. But for yourself, why couldn't you have had a budget for yourself? I mean, why? Yeah, couple. why couldn't it be that we put X amount of we 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 have a uh, two thousand dollars worth of bills, twenty five hundred dollars worth of bills. So this is how much you put in the account for the bills. This is how much I put in the account for the bills. What's right. it left in my account is mine to spend on what I want. What's left in your side account is left to spend on what you that's want. That's how what, supposed okay, to go. So, You're but what, supposed to why it ain't supposed to go like that? Because your account, your check, and and you check me if I'm wrong, because this okay. is how my grandmother told us to do it. Your check is supposed to deposit in that account. Your whole check, you take out the amount to put in your savings, but you always leave that in there for your family and your finances. You never know what may happen. And and ain't no going to pull it out and put it in. It's it's there and I'ma pull out for my own personal gain. I'm okay, not cut so from that cloth. okay, wait one minute. Wait one well, minute. That's you. So I'm now not- Jennifer <laughs> Now, what Jennifer is saying, I have heard that because especially when you have a goal to maybe, you know, of course, retire, because when you get married, you're thinking you're going to be with this person forever. So you probably have a goal to retire, a goal to save, a goal to do all of these things. And that's what I was saying uh, when I was discussing my parents. They had that money because they were saving for their retirement and they have their retirement now and you know they they're doing okay they are doing okay so what jennifer is talking about is and now i didn't do this with my marriage but i did place the money of the bills the money that i had to pay my bills we had an account together and then we had account well that's what i'm talking about But but no wait a minute but now to hear what jennifer is saying I have heard that. I know a lot of married couples yeah. um, is that, that are like still cheating? together. No, that it's like not cheating? cheating. It's just you no. are you are together. It's together. Yeah, and that's, that's what I'm yeah. saying. But like, I'm even saying when if we had a separate account, is that I mean, like no, cheating? Because, I mean, my grandmother always said. Your husband said, don't know. No, he knew. Oh, well, have yeah. a separate account? Yeah, my, I mean, he knew. my ex-husband knew. Yeah, he, he knew. knew. Okay. And, yeah. I, and, and it's called leave a nigga fund. That's what she had. Put it in there just in case. Keep your credit up just in case. And I had to use that motherfucker just in case. But my thing is like. When I got a bonus, I never said, oh, 
I got a bonus. I would never say that to him. Yeah. I would say, we, we got one. a bonus. What right. do we need to do, do in our home? Or what bills do we need to pay? Yeah. What bills? And it ain't because we're his bill building together. together. His yeah. bill is my bill. We stay in the same house. Yeah, we're building you go, together. I'm going to tell you this, Vaughn. Let me tell you this. And, and Sue can tell this, and you can too. When you get married and you go file, you put your name in his name, your credit report is going to show his name. Right. Okay, so those are your bills together. When I, I got a divorce. Right. Okay, but so I, I, I feel like there should be some individuality. There is none because you're one. Yeah, no, but no, yes, you are. No, That's in Christ. No. Okay, you yes, are one. Sue, you become you one. Are, you I are don't one. Understand that. You are okay. one. But yes. there's no individual. There is no me and you. It's one. one. That's it. That's it. That's that's how uh -huh. that's how you No, view. that's what the Bible says. When one man and one one comes together, they become they clean. One. Yes. Well, we're not gonna we're not gonna quote no Bible. You don't on need to be married if right you don't believe that. We're not gonna quote I, no Bible. I'm not saying I don't believe that. We're it's not gonna quote the Bible I right now. Because like I'm not wrong. quoting the Bible. I'm saying that if I and that's ready. what's wrong with marriages <laughs> and relationships, just like with men holding women. I have trust issues. They hold them hostage for <laughs> five and ten years of dating and don't marry them. That's not how that's supposed okay. to go. When you get, when you see your wife, that it, in the Bible it says you're not supposed to court a long time. That's the one keep down the temptation of sex. That's the first well, thing. Okay, and two, Understood why that. are you holding me fucking hostage? Marry me, motherfucker. If that's what we gonna do. Okay, but go so ahead. How the uh, hell did we go left? Do right. Go ahead. Okay, so, I, so while Jennifer is Green talking I about these uh, at the uh, these bank accounts and we are one <laughs> in the credit report, me and Vaughn sitting over here looking at each other Confused. like, what in the hell is going on here? Because okay, I have been married before. Now I had a totally different dynamic than Sue and Jennifer. So I was married to my husband for four and a half years. I'm currently a widow. And my husband paid every bill. As and he I, should. I, I, I'm talking. I'm Hold on. Playing. He paid every bill in our house. And he gave me an, uh, an allowance. We ain't going to talk about how much every week. <laughs> but much? I didn't. Don't worry about it. But, I but it was good. And I had my money because he told me you can work. Or you don't have to work. But let's even take that back. Let's let's go back to the foundation mm -hmm. of your parents. Because we skipped that part. Oh, we ain't going to talk about the parents. Because my I, I I probably had the most fucked up situation than anybody at this table. So do you feel I was like raised by that's, wolves. That's that so is not true. Lainey um, is strong. Not do and it. Ma Lainey uh, like Lainey that. was independent. And I will get to my parents in a minute. Right. So back to my husband. My husband paid all the bills in the house, gave me an allowance, gave me the option to work or not work, finance my business. He gave me financial outlets to make more money. He put money in my pocket. I still worked because I opted out of not working and I was able to keep all my money to myself. Did I blow it? No, I'm very conservative with money. So if we ever got into a bind, which was rare because we were pretty good with money. Well, I was anyway. He was not. So, on the back end of that, when he wasn't not when he wasn't so good with money, boom, I got money to right. make up for where he messed up. So, with that being said, um, I never had to share an account, worry about credit, none of that. Everything in the household was in my name. Period. And luckily. That played out, you know, you know, to benefit me in the end, because when he passed away, there was no issues in probate or anything like that. So that's all well and good. Now, he told me that when he grew up, his grandmother didn't work. His grandfather paid for everything and he took care of her. And that's what he was going to do for me. And that's how he was groomed. Right. And that's how he was groomed. Now, did I see that growing up? No. Was I opposed to it when he told me that's how it was going to go down? Nope. Hell no. <laughs> Sounded real damn Sound good, to me. good to me. too. Yeah. Considering what I watched growing up. Now, I'm going to tell you what I watched growing up. I was not raised in the household with my father from the time I was seven years old. So, my stepfather stole every piece of money that he could from my mama. That is why I would never trust all my money in an account 
with another man. But that's just that I, man. I, I, I'm saying for but me. For me. One man can damage for me. That's for the opportunity. Me. That is me. When I saw that thief steal it, it from my mama, one. I would never right. have it so that a man had access, all access to my money that I work for. I would have to kill that nigga. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Ain't no way I'm going to work on my job, get my retirement, and you steal it. Mm. Yes, I'm, well, I'm with you on that. You would be in what? the end. She was blessed, and he's and he's not. It don't matter. It do. It's, it's it called, don't matter. When you do, when you do the right thing, right? When you do, when you do the she right, the right thing and for being her. blessed. Yeah, she did the right thing. When you're doing the right her. thing under what God says to do, and I and I, I hold that so true because I believe that. And I might curse and act up and be funny with y'all, but when it get down to that, when I do what I'm supposed to do and I honor God, I see the blessings. All in that. I, I, me and Terrell fought about a lot of stuff. We stopped, We fought about a lot of shit. He don't whoop their ass. I didn't cuss out all that. But I can say one thing that we never, we had two things we never had a problem with. We never had a problem in the bed and we never had a problem with money. Never. We never fought about money. Of course not because you gave it all to him. No, that's not true. If I hadn't. That's I'm not saying you gave it all to no, him. No, but, but I'm saying I had. I'm, let, let's, let's, let me, let me, let me, let me clean that up for y'all. If I wanted to go into the account and see what's there, it was there. Meaning, I could c- account for every dollar that's in that account, and don't get it, don't get it twisted. I went in to see if all my money was in this account, and they're being allocated to where they needed to go. So, no, it's not a oh here got my check and I just went. No, I had I had right free, free, I'm on the account too. Well, you you gonna stop me from going to see my money? No, it's we both have this account. We both have this agreement. These are our finances. This is how we're going to deal with it. If it's something that I want and I, if it's coming out of my main finance, hey, look, they got to sell. Did you mind if I go ahead and get this back? Can we afford that? Is it in the budget for me to be able because to do Because you all were growing towards together. Right. Okay, something. so let me ask you this right here. Now that you're single, mm-hmm. you're not married, so I'm going to say you're single. If you, your potential, say you're looking for marriage, you're heading it into that direction, that person, the way that you handle your finances today, you group it as one because you're now one, one. person, right? Yeah. One, one unit. Mm-hmm. What if that man don't want to put his money with yours? Then that would be on him. Then that's something, that's not that's, a deal breaker. That's, that's, a deal breaker. that's not a deal ba- breaker because that is a conversation that we would have. To but have. how would you feel knowing that he okay has money that. in an account and just say for whatever reason you need to have access to some money, because you know finances can ruin a relationship before sex. Yeah, but right. I think that's a okay. conversation. That's something that I would have to foresee in the beginning. And everything is not brought to light in the it's beginning. It's not, but that, I mean, but for me, at this juncture in my life, that is a conversation we're going to have. Okay. And if you, if if I can't see that you're good with money, like you got some issues with money. Does Jesus. does how he was brought up and raised and groomed does that affect the relationship going um going into in a relationship with a person? Mm-mm. If you saw that they came from a damaged broken home, Mm-mm. you know that person may have some damaged broken pieces somewhere. Mm-mm. 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 That's not. Oh, I'm, I'm just asking. Yeah. No, because no, my ex husband came from an abusive home. I mean, some of that spilled over to him. Mm-hmm. But now that I ta- and I talked to him today. Sometimes we are exposed to things that will affect us and damage us and we carry it. But because our generation, we so fucked up, we don't want to go to therapy. We don't want to go to therapy. Our parents, like my mom, with shit that happened with me, she never took me to therapy. So this is shit that's resurfacing now that I'm going through. So if he would have went to therapy, I think he would have been the perfect man. I don't hate Terrell. I think he's a, an excellent guy. Mm-hmm. Like he's fun. We had fun. But when he's angry, when it's bad, I said, like somebody else said, when it's bad, it was motherfucking bad. But when it was good, it was good. Okay, I'm uh, lost. What was the question again? Well, I'm like you. <laughs> if if she asked his, like his family, like the way his grooming was, would that deter you from marrying him well, or no, being I with asked, him because of... The original question was about the money. If he had a separate account, okay. if he didn't want to put money into an account. No, I got else. that part. We ain't talking about the money okay. no more. You was talking about something about the how crazy he was people. How he was groomed, like, would that deter her from being in a, going into a relationship with a person, how they were groomed? Because apparently, two people, we're not the same. We have to learn each other and... If, and, and you said that um, it's he, not a he deal. He have problems. 
and you'll take them in. Shit, I got problems. I mean, what I what I'm not perfect. I done came from a, a damaged home. I, 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 hold on now. We we, we got to discuss. Saying. We got to discuss how damaged. Yolanda, because remember we talked about the Amazon shopping cart full of problems. Okay, but that's that's besides the point. Uh -uh. I mean, you're supposed. Okay, so this is me. I'm one of those. What I, is the deal breaker? That's what I'm saying. It gotta be. It to gotta be a, be a damn lie somewhere. You can't take everybody. You can't. I mean, right. he can't. Well, no, because I dated a murderer. Oh, God, oh, Lord, Lord, have <laughs> mercy. Oh, okay, Jesus. so we're talking about what now? Oh, deal breaker. See, she fucks with serial killers and right, all kinds right. of shit. You can't I take. Care. I didn't know that until you can't pull yeah. every stray dog off the damn street and pull them in the house but and here's feed the them. Thing. To if the come. person comes she, from. Um, everybody doesn't come from the perfect home, right? You know, every like you said, <laughs> Jennifer's right. Everybody has some baggage with them. However, it's some baggage I don't damn yes, want, right. and you can and keep that is. shit That's outside my door. You're not bringing that up in here. Or if now, say if that person said, "This is what happened to me in my past." If that person has gotten over that, and then that's a different story, right? But now, if this person has an addiction right or, that's my deal breaker something like that an addiction yeah if you if you strung out on some dope i ain't gonna fuck so with that's you. that's yeah, it I, if you on some some shit shit why I, you can't get him but some help it's uh -uh, right well no that. no so, because the person can get help he can. and then the person can be better How but now listen and choosing the but you no, said my minute, deal breaker that's not a, a pick and choose that's jen's deal breaker but yeah. here's the thing it's different type of addiction you can have sex addiction you can have shopping addiction you can have Porn addiction. Wait a minute, what I are mean, you pointing at me for? I mean, she got shopping two because of the shopping she got addiction. And, and, and the sex. You just sex and right. shopping. Right. right. <laughs> and so, you know, it, it's... Where's the lie? Where is it's the a lie? touchy situation. Okay, so... So, like Yoshi said, you have to look at what it is that you're going to say, okay, well, that's my limit. No. So, what's your, so, what's your deal breaker, Sue? My deal breaker... If you're not getting help for your your addictions or things like that, then I'm not going to deal with it. But now I got to say it it would just be from the jump. I'm not going to deal with it. There you go. I'm not going to do it's just certain things I'm thieving, just not going to deal with. Even addictions. My 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 addictions. deal breaker is a person that doesn't have any drive. Ooh, right, yeah, 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 and yeah. That's it. Ooh, don't have drive and try to hate a man that depends and leans on, on a, a woman. woman. Yeah, mm. that right there. Well, I think right. that kind of oh, go together. Oh, oh, right. Oh, oh, I, I, I don't like that. When you um, what do you call that? When you keep throwing stuff up in my face. I, I did know. this for you. I did that for you. Type oh, shit. Oh yeah. I don't like that either. Well, I just I don't even want to put that get myself into a predicament where somebody can throw that right. you know in my face. Yeah. Yeah. Small things though. That. I bought you mm -hmm. a car. I could have bought my own car, but you did it, and you wanted right. to because you wanted to control me. Oh, well, you can take and your keys. He about. gonna take your keys back. Boom. I think it's very important that when we do have these relationships, friendships, it is very important to know where a person comes oh, from. Wait a minute. I got one. Mm -hmm. No, no, nah, this is honestly my deal breaker. You're not taking care of your children. Oh, yeah. Don't come to me. Yeah, I'm serious. But, um, don't talk to don't me. Talk to I don't have no children. <laughs> His yeah. children be grown. Yeah, don't talk we, to we, me. We're not having little kids around. <laughs> and I also <laughs> have to, but no, this is the thing too, Vaughn, but I, I also have kids. to see what type of relationship. Okay. I don't like women. So you're okay. Okay, but if I meet a man, <laughs> but I'm saying if I have, okay. if I meet a man, is that, that I mean, why would that I be a just, deal breaker? She is talking Mine. about her. Okay, that's, that's, you that's, find you somebody who want to have little children with saying, you. I don't have right. little kids. That's okay, and she so, doesn't. I don't want to be with nobody with no little I kids want all the time okay. to be about me. That's selfish. Ooh, okay, it's I not don't selfish. want to have to. Now, granted, I'm not gonna rule that out. Yeah, I wouldn't rule it out. But but my but preference preference would be, would be right. not to have someone with small children. Vaughn got a grown ass man. Yes, and a I have son. two grandchildren. So right, that's enough. Well, I, that I, I don't be need a play deal dates. For and me. I have a grown. I, I well, maybe I, I can like do a play children. date. Well, we can't hang out no more if you got little kids <laughs> got, at like, your house because yeah. I'm gonna be like, get him. No, oh, really? Yeah, no. Well, you yo, know, I don't even pay you like no attention. She don't oh, even like you. Well, I like her either. Her eight-year-old is not a typical eight-year-old. So that wouldn't be like Jen's eight-year-old is not a typical eight-year-old. Like, that eight -year -old. Eight -year -old that that thing been eight -year -old. here before. Okay, right. I love some paper. And that's, yeah, and that's I love her too. See how she talk about her God, baby. I love some. What she called you? 
I don't know. A frog. <laughs> you a frog. <laughs> Whatever. So we're going back to um, when you get to a certain age and you aren't married and people say, what's wrong with you? So, oh, I get um, that a lot. Yeah, Vaughn. I get that a lot because one, people already think that I am married. Mm-hmm. For, I don't know what you look like. Like, what does what is that supposed to look like when a person's married? Um, you look like you're married. What does that look like? I don't know. You might have a um, glow about maybe. yourself. But um, <laughs> <clears throat> but people come to me all the time saying, "Why haven't you been married yet?" What's wrong Maybe with you? Maybe just look responsible. Maybe that's why they feel like you you're look forty-two married. years old. You've never been married. Nope, never been married. Okay, well, mm. um, because y'all all jacked up, and I didn't want to get and you haven't and found the right person. Not only that, but just I look at all my past relationships. If I would have married three of them, I would be divorced to by all three, three of them. And I look oh, at myself God. saying, I dodged a bullet. I dodged a bullet. I dodged a bullet. I don't know if it's because how I was groomed to be independent mm-hmm. and that I do things for myself. I don't need, I'm not going to say I don't need a man. Cause yes, I do need a, I need, I don't need, I yes, want, honey. we all need, I the want man. a man. Is. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's beauty and in independence and it's beauty in relationships right. and, and, and marriage. Mm-hmm. But, um, I'm not going to settle. There you go, Vaughn. And you don't have to. I don't have to settle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's okay that you haven't been married because you're waiting for that right person. I am. And I see now, nowadays, a lot of people are waiting um, and they are getting married a lot older now because they're trying to establish their career. How old was I when I got married? I was um, 34. Yeah. 34, 35. And you look at marriages now. How Mostly you everybody you that soon? you meet I think has... I was 26. Oh, okay. I was 26. Okay. Yeah. But look at marriages now. Mostly everybody you know is what? Divorce or on their second or third marriage. But what did I tell you one day about Vaughn? I said, Vaughn going to be the last one us yeah. to get married and, and stay married gonna, yeah. longer than all of us. And have a beautiful relationship. I mean, by the time I get married, who going to divorce <laughs> me? <laughs> Who's so, gonna divorce me, boo? You are just gonna be a little old. I think, think we gonna be social security age, ready to collect checks and whatnot. But <laughs> I, mean, I hope I don't wait that long. It's but. interesting <laughs> that you should say that because I do know some males who are like in their thirties or in their forties, and they have come to me and said, you know, people ask me, why aren't you married? And especially the ones that don't have children, because they'll say, you're in your thirties or you're in your forties, you don't have any children. Yeah. And then that first thing they ask is, "What's wrong? With are you? you or are you gay? Oh, are and you?" And that's gay? unfair. And maybe they it just is. haven't found that right person that they want to have a child with. Maybe they have been protecting themselves because they don't want to get anything that's going on out here, all these diseases. And maybe they just don't want to have a child with just any and everybody, you know. And maybe they don't want to have a lot of baby have mamas kids with. Yes, Lord, Lord God. Mm. Well, shouts out to my baby daddy because he is. You the know, bomb. I have, I have Hello, a good one too. Dirk. Yeah. So yes. We co-parented very well. Y'all did. Yeah. Y'all did. We did. And um. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> he rolled. <laughs> Shit. I I got the look. Uh. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> so we not talking about that. But um, we touched on submissive. Um, already. Um, I think that went all the way left. Um, well, we started talking about submissive and the finances, but we didn't talk about, oh, you know, it was something that she brought up earlier. This was before we started recording. Um, Jennifer, um, made it a point to say that her grandmother told her one time, if the man wants to sleep with you, you are not to deny him. Sir, you is not about to mount me like I'm a damn horse. You are stupid. <laughs> and, and, you are, that is in the Bible uh, as well. I don't give a damn. 
If I don't want to do nothing, Jennifer, I think you're you not gonna have gonna, to come back I don't with care. descriptions. I don't care. To I show, I don't please. care. I, am. I don't know if you can do look, it in this show look, right now. Why y'all? Why y'all? Sure why y'all always, always want to quote the Bible? Or because what y'all want to quote so the Bible? To, on. That's what you so, that's so, to so, do. so you've that's done everything according to the Bible. No, you've done everything according to the Bible. No, I haven't. Are you still doing everything according to the Bible? We're hell no. Fornication. We all sin. We all fall short of the glory. My whole so thing is, <laughs> my whole thing is, we all fall short. Don't, be don't follow the Bible when it's convenient we, to follow yeah. the Bible. We fall down. I don't want to hear it. But so now, back to down there. Uh, if the man <laughs> comes to bed, Vaughn, and say, look at him now. I want it, girl. I never told my husband no. No. Well, um, we know you haven't. I never told him no. Even if I ain't want to, oh, I say, come on. Mercy. Okay. One thing I hope we never do, and that's go to bed angry with each other. Now, because now see, that's reasonable. You know, I hate for something to happen to one of us, and we never reconcile. Yeah. Somebody so, not wake up the next morning. Right. How about you just want to be in a but right sex space? That I'm not your object. I'm your that's wife. Right. That's not an object. That's being a no. wife. That's a wifely duty. Mm, no. no, you. You losing who no, you we're are gonna, as a, we're, as a we're, we're, woman. We're not going there, Jennifer. We're not going there. That we're gonna agree to disagree. Yeah, that's that's I, your I can't view. Agree with that. That's your view. And and me and Vaughn agree that we're not. That ain't us. What mm -hmm. do you think, Sue? You gonna be submissive to your husband if he say, "Look at here, girl." I believe in levels mm. of submissiveness. Bust them open for me. But Bust I don't it open know. For me. Bust I'm not gonna sit the there man. and be <laughs> treated like <laughs> some. <laughs> Second class, second hand. Yeah, but I don't, you, like, that's what submissive means. That's not how. No, but it's the it way. Seems like that's the how y'all interpreting it, though. It's not that way. I mean, hey, the person say, hey, I want if, this. But what if? But if I, I don't feel, really if I don't want to, to it, should I? Do I have the power to say yes or no? I would say yes. Okay, but, but she's Jen saying that you're not supposed to deny like, yeah. your husband. Yeah, and I yeah I've heard Jennifer because Jennifer has always we talked about you. that before. I'm and we, I, you you got to think about how I was raised. Again, my grandparents raised me, so it, it, we're we're talking about my grandmother. I'm not talking about the grandma no, and granddad. I'm, telling you, I'm talking about you. Yes, and that's how I was raised. My grandmother told me you never deny him. I remember my grandmother told me one time that this her this is from her generation. Now this might be true now in the new generation. But I, I'm so, I'm like, I love unconditional love. When I was getting married, my grandmother said, now, are you marrying this boy because you love him? Or are you marrying this boy because uh, of finances? Which one are you loving him for? I said, I love him. She says, you's a goddamn fool. You never married for love. You married for the money. Then you fall in love. That's from her generation. Because this man came to her door with a peach, some peaches and said, I want to marry her. Here go these peaches. Give me this girl. We're going to grow together. She, when she left my great grandfather's house as his wife, that's what she had to do as his wife. That's mm. what she was taught to do and groom. And that's how my sister is groomed. That's how I'm groomed. My cousin Cleaver, all of us, same way, submissive. And you know, it's, it's um, funny that you should say that, Jennifer. Even though, you know, my mom, of course, is married. We all know that and been married for a while. I think my mom, she taught me to be a wife, but she also taught me to be independent and to say, and okay. have my own voice. Right. And to have your own voice and speak up and, and, and not have anyone treat me any kind of way. So it's just, it's interesting. I never asked my mom about her being submissive, but I'm sure, like I said, with her and my dad, um, they just do a lot of things together. So I've just never asked her, especially about, the, I just don't even want to. They're so mm -mm. cute together. No. I love this. Well, I, I just feel <laughs> like, I just feel like part. with all of us being um, working women, and I mean, we, we are, I think our wages that we earn are, are very competitive. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not that we have to have that second income in the house. It would be nice, mm -hmm. but we make enough money to support our households, mm -hmm. be able to afford our luxuries mm -hmm. and are able to put something up to where we could live the life of a single woman comfortably, mm -hmm. or we could live with a significant other or be married. 
right. and live just as comfortable or, you know, more. Right. So really, the toss up at this point to being married or being single is just what? Companionship, right? Right. So I guess it's just based off of um, what do I want to put up with? Or especially at our age. Well, I don't I shouldn't that sounds kind of negative. Not necessarily what do I want to put up with, but um I don't know. What means more to me at this point? What will I sacrifice? Um Not sacrifice. I just think it's a compromise with your companionship because you're gonna wanna you want your significant other to be happy as well as you. You want all of that. So I think maybe if you it's it's what you want to do is what he wants to do. Let's find a way that we can live together and do things together. Yeah. Right. So I just think it's about companionship. Okay. I'm all for and, and I'm all for and companionship too, but I'm not with the, I'm not with the, um, yeah, I got to get permission and I got to uh sub, sub be submissive and give you some when I don't want to. And well, my I, thing I, is, I'm, if you're you interrupting man, me, ma'am. Yeah, because you you taking it too I'm far. I'm not. I'm you saying are. for me. Okay. I'm saying for but me. But what I'm saying is, if you find the man that can you can relate to and he accepts those, I mean, y'all don't. You can still have fun. You should be with a man that you don't have to ask for permission or anything. He can see it. When Terrell, when we walk through the mall and he can see I'm looking at something, he'll say, "All right." You know, maybe we can work towards that because maybe we can put that in our budget. You know, um, first of all, I ain't walking nowhere with nobody telling me we going to put something in, in our budget. It's a goal. You're it, not getting you're it. You're working towards it's a, a goal. goal of retirement, Yoshi. When you were, like, I mean, we just going to blow if, it. If this is one thing. Okay. So when I talk to my male mm-hmm. BFF, um, we talk about these topics as well. And so what he says you know, if a man has it to wear, kind of like with um with with Marion, if he he had it so he could provide for you, that's great. That's all well and good, and you all were saving and all that stuff like that. But if you all come in this companionship, this relationship, marriage together, and you all are working on that common goal, it's okay to do that. It's okay to have that right. goal to save and retire and live well. I think right and, now. And our goal was we both were financially. Okay. Our goal was we both had fucked up credit. That was the first thing. It was fucked up. We were young. I fucked it up. He fucked it up. Student loans, all that. Okay. We got together with all of that. We we said we're going to work on this together. That's this the is, one thing we worked on. This is the Bible quota. No, it's not a Bible quota. It's the truth. We we And the goal was. Let's get the credit together. Let's start to save where we will have our money to I'm write. I'm not negating right. any of that. I'm not negating any of that. Yes, Ma'am. Yes, no, I'm are. not. If I got to ask for permission. What do you mean? No, I, that could be per, that could be permission to roll my ass over and go to sleep rather than get my back blowed out. Damn it. I might not want that. Get from around me, nigga. I done worked all day. Can oh, you get God. off me, please? Okay. Well, I just found my answer. I think I'm groomed. I am grooming or I have groomed myself for a single life. No, because I ain't I about that life so. yet. I'm no. not about that life right now. I, think I mean, when let you it, have let the it just right happen mate, organically. Right. I think when you have the right mate or that right person comes along, it'll all work together. It mm. will. And I think it has to take that right person for you. And it, it will all work together. The compromises all of that kind of stuff. I mean, but everybody in a different mind space, Sue. So I I'm 44 years old. I will be 45 this year. Okay. I ain't compromising with nobody but oh, Jesus. Right. Yep. You don't but need to get. Yoshi, and I ain't even compromising that, with the Lord. This is a whole nother no, topic, another I'm show topic. I'm, I'm not with you. no the, the Lord going to tell me what to do and I'm gonna do it. Well, but that's, that's the only what I'm but that's about. the only person going to tell me. But Yoshi, I'm not I'm not negotiating up with no man. Boy, no. you better get on out my face. No, Yoshi. Bye, but boy. you just said it. Yoshi. Bye, boy. You just Good answered your question. <laughs> you just answered your why, question. Why I say? When you said it was all God. Because if it, it is, is all God. no. But if it is, and that marriage is is under God, mm-hmm. you will do 
what, what you're you supposed and to do. And the Lord is going to direct me. Absolutely. And that's what I'm talking about. It's not going to come gonna from man. He ain't going to tell me the Lord It's not going to come from me. man. But you, but you know what? The Lord is, is. going to open up your heart enough right. to receive what well, this man is saying. That's what I'm talking about. It's going to open up your heart. You all, that's why I keep saying you all are taking it from <laughs> so like, silly. ain't nobody going to tell me what to do. Yes, he is. But when it is divine, when that divine intervention comes in, oh, Jesus. Okay. Things will change, okay. and you Preacher. will see a different person. <laughs> what her name was? All Shirley. things. Ooh, you know what? She don't flip, 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 right. flip, flip. You know what? All things. Back in the oh, <laughs> excuse me, Sister I Edna Prescott. <laughs> oh, just gave running. the word for the week. All things. <laughs> yes. New. Um. And um, he's gonna open up your heart. We got Agatha <laughs> Hawkins up here and doing the morning hymn. Roll over, oh. roll over, Lord roll Jesus. over. Anyway, roll over in the in the legs. event that Vaughn and I cannot take a uh, good direction, <laughs> mm-hmm. we are taking donations for our Golden Girls I house. Yes. Um, I'm gonna be married. We're gonna build over on Shady Pines Drive. Shady Pines, yes. So um, you gonna send us a cash app to uh, help us build our house? Cause we we are we are unruly, disobedient <laughs> girls. Yeah, and, we the, and the men's is, is not. Well. They we are old. not. Yeah, we old untrainable hoes. We are <laughs> not. We <laughs> not. <laughs> not gonna, we are not gonna y'all do right. I'm just saying. And I'm we don't take right directions. Over. We don't y'all take directions very well. Room and we're we'll married. So okay. We gonna have two rooms. You go right on. Y'all gonna be right behind us. This is Blanche Devereaux talking about. She gonna get married I'll over get here married. and be submissive. Yeah. Now y'all well, seen y'all seen Blanche uh, flouncing around daddy. that house in that robe. Uh, she said, "Big Daddy, Big Daddy, mm-hmm. Big Daddy." So right. yeah. So Sophia Petrillo and um, which, who are you? Are you gonna be Rose? So yeah. Yeah. Sophia and Rose, yeah, we Rose. just gonna be over at Shady Pines, oh, and we gonna let you know Dorothy what? in the end. Who got married? Who got married? Dorothy. That's right. Dorothy probably will get married. Yes, she probably Dorothy she got married did. at the end yeah. of the she death. Did. Come on, mm-hmm. people. Okay. Yes, yeah, she did. So she there is hope. It was so good. Yeah, I guess there's they hope. They named it. Oh, yes, okay. she did. Ow. Yes. And that's when the show went off. Yep. When <laughs> she <laughs> got married. <laughs> yep. Because Dorothy got her man. Okay. Mm. Yes. Well. And it was Blanche's uncle. Mm. Mm. Oh, my God. Now, I don't come think on you. Now. I don't think you want to. <laughs>